And how do you utilize coupons when it comes to auto repair? I mean, we all want to save money on auto repair. How do we utilize coupons in a way that's beneficial to us and uh, that I don't feel violated when I go in with a coupon and leave with something else? How do I do that if I'm a consumer? I don't know, Dave. It, it's tough. You know, <laughs> we can tell everybody we've been sitting here arguing for the last hour oh, yeah. about coupons, and, and and truly, we all do coupons. I mean, I don't know if you do them so much, Dave, but I, I do coupons at my shop. I mean, we do cu- coupons to our regular customers, uh, which is kind of customer retention marketing, if you will. And then we do occasionally. We haven't done it in a while, but we'll occasionally do the. You know, something in the mail or something in the newspaper and, and, and put some coupons out there. But Well, I, when you send coupons out, I would like, as the owner of Virginia Auto Service, why do you do it? So, I mean, you have a couple of motives. Well, yeah. I mean, we, we're in business to service cars, and to service cars, we need customers. Consumers are out there. They have cars, and they need service. So we need to make an introduction of us to them to start that ever-so-important relationship that we're always talking about. So it's an introduction piece. So yes. if you're looking for a new shop, someone may look for coupons to go find and try out a new shop. And then you said to your existing customers, and it's kind of like, uh, uh, I guess I would put it like this. People, are, you have customers that you have relationship with, and there's people that want to want to take that relationship away from you. So to retain sure. them, you send out coupons. Yeah, just like when I need, when I want to have new customers, I want to go take someone else's customer, or I want that orphan customer. We we talk about that. That's the the guy or the gal that goes here for one repair and another place. I think you mentioned it last week when I was going about chasing the coupon. Chasing the coupon. And there are some of those. And, and and truly, some coupon shoppers, if you will, if you want to call somebody a coupon shopper, yeah, they're just not our customer either. So you have to have some uh, a number of at bats, if you will, before you before you find the customer that that uh, you want to have that relationship with. So that is a piece of it is acquiring new customers. Well, I will see. There's I see. Okay, so a business is brand new. They open it up on the street corner. It's a clean shop. They want to do a good, legitimate business. Well, you you may just drive by and drive by and drive by and not think anything of it. Now they want to build the business, so they are going to advertise. So there's different points in the business's life cycle where they're advertised or do more coupons. They will be willing to say, hey, we're going to make this offering because we want to meet you and we hope you like us. Right. So I, I see that happen. And as a business gets more established and, you know, we're, we're at this level of business, but you know what? We want to put on – we're kind of at the place where we need to put on another technician. You know, but we don't quite have enough business to justify it. Well, you may go back and do some more advertising again. So take you up to the next level. Well, well, we'll grow our business. But I'll tell you, and I did coupons for years. We did the, you know, the stuff that comes in the Val Pack, the Money Mail, or you pick your flavor. We did that stuff. But then after a while, I had to kind of sort the herd a little bit. Not all those customers are my customers. Yeah, they didn't um, necessarily fit. Th- yeah, they didn't fit because they they were always wanting for the next next oil change to be less expensive or something like that. So, but what got me talking about this is I noticed some coupons that I, I look at the coupon, I'm like, there's no way. What well, it doesn't even, what first off, what you're, it's not realistic in some cases uh, to that the price on these, some of these coupons is just so low that there, there's got to be a compromise somewhere else, at least in my opinion. Or you're providing, you have a coupon for a service that really is of no value or is not what you're going to ultimately give to me or sell to me anyway. And an example of that might be that everybody hears is the one car for sale in the car lot for 99 99 99 and, you know, <laughs> and it's stock number 47. And they say it really fast, and there's one of them. Right. Okay? So they can run that out. They have to have at least one of them. But I can tell you some of these coupons, there's not very many cars leaving for a $9 oil change. There's not very many cars leaving for a $59 brake job because they're not realistic. Well, Mike Russell was in our studio, and I said, hey, automotive repair coupon, what are the first things that come to your mind? And he stared at me. I said, no, come up with something. Give me something. We need something to talk about. He said, said, well, first of all, he thought of a summer package, you know, the packages of the summer, summer or seasonal stuff. So that was one. The other one he said was hidden fees. I'm looking for hidden fees, and I'm looking for the asterisk at the bottom of the coupon. So we want to educate, you know, how can you guys utilize coupons to save money on auto repair, and then how can you not get harmed by the coupon? Because there's harm that can come from coupons if, you know, you get enticed in a way and it was unrealistic, 
and now you get yourself into a bad situation with an auto repair with a shop that's not very competent, a fly-by-night. Sometimes when the oil change price gets so low that it's completely not practical, that was the other thing that came to his mind was oil changes. Mm-hmm. Everyone advertises the cheap oil change. Well, because that's what er- – and then everybody needs an oil change at some point. That's the most frequent thing you need. So so the, the, the likelihood of these two – lines intersecting the need and the offer is very high. There was a, a tire, I think it was called Tire Outlet back in the early 90s that came into town, and they ran Lifetime Oil Change. That was one of the things they they did at that time. If I'm thinking of the right name, they're not in town. That's why I say their name. They're not right. here anymore. But they did Lifetime Oil Changes, and that's how they enticed everybody to get in there. And, you know, a few years went by, and they packed up and left town. And a lot of people had all these Lifetime Oil Changes. Mm-hmm. That was kind of a whole mess. Well, the, the couple – so I think – I'm going to tell you what I think the best coupons are. And I think the best coupons that you can get in the mail are coupons – that come from somebody you already have a relationship with. And that would be like a dollar off. And I'll give you an example. If I send out a coupon for $50 off of a brake job, well, you say, well, how, off of what? Well, off the part, off the labor. We're going to do a, a good brake job on a normal, you pick 9 out of 10 cars sitting at the stoplight, depending on what city you're in. Uh, a brake job's 300 bucks. That's a reasonable price. It's a good job. It's a quality part. Um, and if I'm going to send you a coupon for $50 off, that's very reasonable. But to look at a coupon, I'm looking at one on the internet right now, break special, $49.95. That's when the trigger's got to go off in your head and go, mm. Mm. It's for, way uh, too deep of a discount. Yeah, it's $49.95, and, that co- and, that, and that's just most cars. That, I mean, that it, was the other thing Mike it, said, most cars. Do you drive a most car? It's, it's really not practical. Uh, you know, Dave, we could get into the economics of what it even what what an employee, a good, a competent person that you would want working on your brakes. Well, you're, you're, so you're saying a dollar off coupon is a good one. The other thing that really helps you spot a bad coupon is if it really provides no value. So we'll give you. We talked about the AC service scenario coupon for a nineteen dollar air conditioned service. You know, that's open the hood, look to see the belts on the compressor, stick, you know, stick your hand up the desk, see if it's blowing cold. And then if it's doing all those things or not doing all those things, they're going to sell you something else. So it's not really, it's like, it's, it's just a big bait and switch. And the psyche of it is people think my AC doesn't work and I can get it fixed for 20 bucks. The 20 bucks really just gets you, like you said, Dave, yep, you're right. You got a problem. <laughs> Now it's now here's the price to service it. I've seen some I've seen some receipts and coupons from local places. Twenty nine dollars AC inspection special. Yep. And then there's a regular price of an AC charge. Yep. It needs work. Yep. You're right. You know, <laughs> I'll, I'll pick on a coupon I got. We take cars at my shop at Virginia Auto Service. We take if if you're our regular customer and we have a relationship with you and we're the person that takes care of your car and you have a recall or something that applies to your car, we'll take that for you as part of our service to the dealer. And as a result of that happening, we're on almost every single dealership's mailing list. So popular Japanese brand, I get the coupon, $129 brake job. And some people are thinking, oh, wow, that's 30 bucks more than the other guy. That's a ripoff. Well, <laughs> so <laughs> you're thinking wrong if that's what you're thinking. So I start looking at the coupon, and it's plus machine rotors and, and plus this. So I call the, call the dealership, and I said, hey, I'm calling about that $129 brake job. What does it include? And, and at the end of the story, he says, well, yeah, but to machine the rotors and that stuff, it's more. I said, so really the $129 is for a service you don't even recommend and is not the right way to fix the car. He's like, yeah. I said, so you should have just sent me a coupon that says, if you want a crappy brake job, it's $129. <laughs> and if you want a good brake job, it's 300 <laughs> So we can get into that more of what to look